Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Amit Kumar Sen, and welcome to my next session on permutation and combination. Already, uh, I have made one one point five hour video on on the basics on permutation and combination, uh, where I discussed about uh, the evolution of of the concept of permutation and combination uh, from the concept of numbers and how permutation and combination as a topic uh, can be used for the advanced form of counting. I believe uh, you would have definitely gone through that video, and you have understood uh, the the application of permutation and combination uh, while solving the problem on numbers. Now, uh, going further, uh, going further, if I discuss uh, more about uh, permutation and combination, so I want to uh, make one session dedicatedly uh, for the problem on dices. So, problem on dices uh, will be applicable for for the concept on permutation combination it is again applicable uh, when you solve the problem on probability also so only thing in probability uh, so along with numerator there is another variable which will attach and that is would be the total number of cases so basically uh, if you i believe you have the fair picture about a uh, probability in your mind so when we talk about a uh, probability uh, when we talk about probability so probability is nothing but it is the it is it is it is a fraction which talks between a number between zero to one, where probability is basically it is a ratio of favorable outcome, uh, divided by the total outcome. So that is that is basically a probability. It gives you value between uh, zero to one. So you know this fact. So in permutation and combination, uh, what what all we are calculating? So that will be helpful. Uh, for for working on the favorable case uh, determination uh, when we work on the concept of probability so uh, so this uh, the determination of the numerator of your probability which is your favorable outcome uh, in the contest of of probability uh, which, which is actually what we are calculating in permutation combination okay so uh, uh, so talking in the contest of dice i believe uh, you are clear with the fact that uh, in, the, in in the case of dice, uh, when I talk about dice, so in case of dice, uh, the total outcome. Whenever I talk about total outcome, so in case of dice, the formula of total outcome is six to the power n. So uh, when if I talk about uh, the 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 total outcome, if if two dices are there, then total outcome would be thirty six. If one if three dices are there, then the total outcome would be two one six. Four dices are there, then the total outcome will be one two nine six. So uh, we are clear with the fact. So more than four dice, you will not get a problem. A maximum problem, what you can get in a competitive exam, maximum it would be four dice problem. Uh, now uh, going further on the dice problem. Uh, so uh, one dice, I believe everyone can do and all. So so there is no point discussing about one dice problem now. If I talk about two dice problem, uh, if I talk about a uh, two dice problem, uh, you can solve it manually. Solving two dice problem is not at all difficult thing. But even then, you can remember the shortcut approach uh, that uh, the minimum sum what you will get in two dice is two. Then it can be three, or it can be four, or it can be five, or it can be six, or it can be seven. Then sum can be eight. It can be nine. Then it can be ten. Then it can be eleven, or then it can be twelve. So uh, this way you can do this. So the sum uh, one minute. Let me dispatch that. So now this right here six. Then it looks better. Then this is seven. And then this is eight. Or this is nine. This is ten. This is eleven, and this is twelve. Now uh, talking about the value on sum. So you can you can understand this. So just follow this pattern. So symmetry it follow the symmetry. So it follow the symmetry. So this way, if you know if you know this, uh, you can solve the problem very easily. So you don't have to struggle uh, whenever you see two dice problem, thinking about the possible cases and all. Talking about two dice are are rolled together. What is the probability that you will get a sum at least? At least ten. What is the probability that you will get a sum at least ten? So the answer is nothing but three plus two plus one. That is six divided by thirty-six. That very easy. 
so you then if i am asking you some at least 10 then you don't have to waste your time thinking on the cases 5 comma 5 5 comma 6 6 comma 5 6 comma 6 then you don't have to waste your time thinking about all such cases you you don't have to think about uh, all such cases where you can get uh, the sum as 10 4 comma 6 6 comma 4 all that uh, you don't have to do so uh, like that so either you can waste your time thinking about if i talk about uh, that in how many ways can you get the sum 10 in, in when you roll two dice then you think okay fine then 4 comma 6 6 comma 4 5 comma 5 then uh, 5 comma 6 6 comma 5 then 6 comma 6 then uh, you will okay fine six cases are there okay fine so the probability is 6 by 36 or the favorable case is 6 you don't have to do all this you just keep this this symmetry in your mind you can solve the question uh, very easily and that way it can helpful for you uh, talking about a uh, three dice problem if i talk about a uh, three dice problem if i talk about uh, three dice problem. So three dice problem. Uh, you can remember a three dice problem like this. Now, uh, if I talk about a uh, three dice problem, so if I talk about a uh, three dice problem, so if I talk about three dice problem, you can keep this in your mind for the sum value. So the minimum sum will be three, and it can be four, it can be five, it can be six, it can be seven, it can be eight, it can be nine, it can be ten. It can be 11, it can be 12, it can be 13, it can be 14, it can be 15, it can be 16, it can be 17, it can be 18. Now, uh, when you talk about three dice problem, when we are uh, dealing with three dice problem, uh, when I talk about sum, if I am talking about sum, so then it would be 1, 3, 6, then 10, then 15, then 21, then 25 then 27 so again this would be like this 1 3 6 10 15 uh, 21 25 27 so if you remember this uh, you can solve this question a uh, three dice problem whenever you get a competitive exam uh, you can solve it very easily it won't be uh, it won't be a big problem for you uh, to solve it imagine imagine if i am not aware about this so if I ask you that uh, when three dice is rolled, so when three dice are rolled, when three dice are rolled, imagine if I ask you, uh, so in how many ways, in how many ways, in when three dice are rolled, so then in how many ways can you get the sum as 10? Can you get the sum on three dice, sum on three dice as 10? If I ask you, now imagine if you don't know the shortcut formula and all, and you want to do uh, through the contest of numbers so then uh, you think about the cases so how many cases can i draw so i'll think about cases so one comma one will it work no the eight uh, so eight i can't get on on dice okay so one comma one is not working okay then uh, one comma three one comma three one comma three is four then this six this can be one of the case so total number of case would be six this total number of case would be six uh three factorial i believe you know this fact now uh, going further if i think about the other case so what can be the other case it can be one comma four comma five this can be again six then the third case would be then one comma five comma four no point of writing duplication will happen so with one you can do this now if i talk about two with 2, 2, 1, 2, 1, 3, 7, not possible. Then 2, 2, 6. This is 3 cases will be there. Okay. So, you know, 3 factorial by 2 factorial. Uh, then I'll, I'll go ahead. Then I'll think about the next case. So, that can be 2, comma 3, comma 5. That would be 6 cases. Then uh, then 2, comma 3, comma 5. Then it can be 2, comma 4, comma 4. Total number of cases would be 3. Uh, total number of cases uh, will be three. Uh, okay, then uh, then two comma five. Don't know because again the duplication is happening. So now the next, uh, if I start with three, so three comma one four four then six. So three comma okay three comma one comma six already have used. Okay, then three comma two already are used. Then three comma three. 
So it's three comma three six, then four. So the total number of cases would be three. Then uh, then uh, three comma uh, four comma three. So that is not possible. So that that is same thing. So three comma five again. We already we have used. So the moment you start getting duplication, no need to try it. Now I'll start with four. So I'll start with four. So with four, uh, four, four comma one already I've done. Four comma two already I have done. Four comma three also I have done. Now coming talking about four comma four comma two already I have done. Four comma five already I have done. Four comma five already I have done. Uh, then four comma six. 4,6, uh, 4,6. If you do 4,6, where they will put the third one? So that is not possible. So with five, uh, so with five, uh, with five, uh, five one already I've done. Five two already I've done. Then five three, five one already I've done. Five two already I've done. Five three also done. Five four, five four also or means I think this would be. The total number of cases. If you do the sum, uh, so I, 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 frankly, I would be in advantage situation because I know the answer is ten. Imagine if I am not aware the answer is ten, then it, then it could be a little bit of brainstorming for me to again reconfirm my value. So let do the sum. I don't know. Still, I don't know. I, did I get the sum ten, twenty seven or not? Six plus six is twelve. Twelve plus three is fifteen. Uh, 15 plus 6 is 21. 21 plus 3 is 24. 24 plus 3 is 27. Okay, that means so this this would be the total number of cases. So the total 27 cases is possible. Same thing if I ask in probability, the answer would be 27 by 216. Then, fine. So the dissolving at all you can do divisible by 3 and all. I, I that part you take care of that part. Okay, so I'll not use my brain for that. Okay, so so nine eight are seventy two, so twenty seven eight are fifty six. Then uh, fifty six five carry sixteen plus five two one six. Okay, one by eight is answer. So anyway, uh, going further, going further, uh, this the same problem uh, you could have done in other way also. So whenever uh, you got uh, three dice, uh, three dice uh, sum should be ten. Three dice, the the sum, the three dice, the sum uh, should be ten. The three dice, the sum uh, should be ten. So this, what you can do, you can break the problem as one dice uh, plus two dice problem. You can break this problem as one dice plus two dice problem. So one dice and two dice problem. So think in one dice if you get the value one. In one dice if you get the value one in one dice if you get the value one this one case so here how much you should get on two dice the sum so on two dice you should get the sum as, you should get the sum as nine so think about how many ways number of ways so on two dice in how many like some nine so on two dice the sum nine and two dice the sum nine so in how many ways you can get four so if you know that uh that this would be four ways number of ways would be four then if one dice if you get the value two then here it should be eight so in how many ways so you can so how many ways ways means uh, if some eight means uh, the number of ways is five then third one dice if you get three then you should get seven seven means how many ways six ways okay already you know that shortcut so here four this is six means five way then uh, this is five then this is five then how many ways five comma five this is four way then uh, then f then six means four means how many ways three way so if you do the sum sum means what so this is uh, six four ten uh, ten fourteen nineteen nineteen uh, twenty two twenty seven so this way you can solve this question and you can get the answer very easily fine so this this can be the another approach so i told you two ways to get the same answer not the two way third three ways first i told you the shortcut way uh, to solve three dice problem then i told you a manual way the which you can do by using trial error method by using the application numbers or you can do like this way so three ways already i have told you now i'll do the i'll tell you the fourth way of solving the same problem 
in order to do that uh, we'll apply multimonial theorem so so the same problem can be solved by by applying multinomial theorem so you can prove multinomial theorem you can use multinomial theorem uh, to solve these kind of problem so basically what happens the partition rule uh, which i have discussed in the first session so if you remember uh, the, when when i talk about uh, distribution of distribution distribution spelling so if i talk about uh, distribution of if i talk about distribution of n identical object if i talk about distribution of n identical object uh, into if i talk about distribution of n identical object into r distinct places so when i talk the word distribution of n identical object into r distinct places so then i told you a formula for that that formula i told you is n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 so uh, then uh, this is this is called partition rule also this is called as partition rule also so this partition rule uh, cannot be used uh, to solve the problem on dices and all because you need to understand uh, in dices if i am writing when i talk about dice in case of dice if i am talking about dice so if i write in the term of equation in case of dice if i am writing the term of equation that x1 plus x2 plus x3 is equal to 10 So in in case of dices, if I'm writing in the term of equation that x1 plus x2 plus x3 equal to 10, so here we need to understand. Here we need to understand the x the the value of xi. What I'm taking, uh, the value of this it should be between this value should be between one to six. Okay, this value cannot be more than six. So uh, here the apply the partition rule uh, will not. You cannot solve the problem by using a partition rule so then uh, you need multinomial theorem uh, to solve the problem so uh, so this is the this is the discussion about a multinomial theorem uh, which you can use in uh, permutation and combination uh, so one minute uh, so please have a look on this slide by that i'll drink water so this is so uh basically uh basically when we talk about solving the problem uh so so if i'm discussing the application of multinomial theorem and in solving the permutation combination form uh, problems uh you need to remember uh, the, the the concept what i'm discussing here so here uh, we use this formula that that uh, that that what is the, the application of x to the power r in the expansion of 1 minus x to the power minus n and that is equal to this this is very important this is the this is the formula what we will use so so whenever uh, i have to determine uh, whenever i have to determine the coefficient so here if i have to determine the coefficient this should be coefficient so the coefficient of the coefficient of x to the power r the coefficient of x to the power r in the expansion of 1 minus x to the power minus n and that is equal to n plus r minus 1 uh, c r this is a formula what we are going to use uh, to solve the problem on multinomial theorem and the multinomial theorem uh, is uh, uh, will help us to solve many numericals uh, which which your partition rule cannot uh, help you to solve it so that way a multinomial theorem would be very helpful for you so in that uh, let me discuss the application of multinomial theorem uh, in this problem the same problem the the sum of three dice is 10 you know the answer 27 so now let discuss this uh, the fourth application of of using uh, this concept uh, so by by let learn this concept uh, through the application of multinomial theorem so whenever we apply multinomial theorem uh what we need to do uh, we need to assume a random variable called x whenever uh, we are applying a multinomial theorem uh, we need to assume a random variable called x and that x uh, that let me write it down here so when if you are applying multinomial theorem so you let let assume a variable called x so what that variable x can do that variable x 
can take values so that variable x can take values so it can take value from what it can take value from 1 to 6 so i'll write this so so the usual way of writing this is this now you'll write this like this so you'll write coefficient of x to the power 10 because you want the sum to be 10 so you what you will do you will do homework uh, to determine the coefficient of x to the power 10 so that homework you will try to do so uh, in that homework the, the objective would be uh, to find the coefficient of x to the power 10 so so that uh, you will search here in x1 so that x1 can take value from from 1 to 6 this x1 can take value uh, from 1 to 6 this x1 can take value from 1 to 6 because these are the possible outcome so this this is the value what x1 can take the first dice can take this is the first die can take then similarly the second dice can also take 1 to 6 value similarly the third dice can take 1 to 6 values whatever the value the dice can take uh, we represent those values in the term of power so uh, so the we will we'll, we'll work on on this uh, concept so the coefficient of x to the power 10 in this this is the this this is the set of random possible uh, outcome on one dice so similarly on second dice also you'll get the same answer for third dice also you get the same answer so this is nothing but so this is nothing but if i all together on three dice if i ask you all together on three dice if i ask you so the set of all possible outcome would be would be this x to the power 1 plus 2 plus 3 till x to the power 6 so this would be the set of all possible outcome on the three dice all together where the sum should be 10 so the everything either is you either its outcome or either the set of variable which that uh, which that variable can intake all we consider in the term of power so now the same thing i can write as coefficient of the same thing i can write as coefficient of x to the power 10 in so this i can write x to the power 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 to the power 3 considering yeah, all the three dice dice 1 dice 2 and dice 3 all together so then i can i can keep solving this i need to find the coefficient of x to the power 10 in so now you if you notice if you notice they are in gp so you can write them in the form of gp so if you write them in the form of gp this is a into 1 minus r the r divided by 1 minus r to the power 3 okay so you can write them in the form of gp so i can write this coefficient of x to the power 10 so you little bit of basic knowledge also if you have of binomial theorem that would be more than enough so this would be x to the power 3 into 1 minus x to the power 6 to the power 3 into 1 minus x to the power minus 3 so then this is nothing but this is coefficient of so if you understand i am looking for the coefficient of x to the power 10 and here if you notice here i am getting x to the power 3 means out of out of the 10 values what i am looking for the three values are already i got so other way i can write i i need to search now coefficient of x to the power 7 in 1 minus x to the 1 minus x to the power 6 to the power 3 into 1 minus x to the power minus 3 okay then uh, then going further i can write i need to search the coefficient of of x to the power 7 in so i can i can solve this i can find the value what is 1 minus x to the power 6 the whole cube so that would be a cube a cube uh, a cube minus b cube a cube uh, minus b cube uh, a cube minus b cube minus 3 a square b minus 3 a square b minus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square so this way 1 minus x to the power minus 3 now uh, i'm looking uh, i'm looking for a power called x to the power 7 and in that uh, this any power which is more than x to the power 7 uh, will not be significant for me so uh, this power like x to the power 18 and is no way is going to help me uh, neither the x to the power 2 will so the so the value the the value what is going to help me to search for the value called x to the power 7 
so that that would be nothing but so only two values can tell me so what what on what power should i consider so here i just need to focus on these two power because they these two power can only help me either they are either one either it is one or either it is uh, 3 to the power uh, so minus 3 into x to the power 6 because any power which is greater than uh, x to the power 7 is definitely not going to help me to to figure out the coefficient of of x to the power 7 in that so i hope you can understand this so uh, going further uh, going further what i can do uh, so uh, i can solve this further i can write coefficient of x to the power 7 in if i open the bracket so i'll get 1 minus x to the power minus 3 uh, minus minus 3 minus 3 uh, this x square into 1 minus x to the power minus 3 so now uh, i can go further and i can search for coefficient of x to the power 7 uh, in 1 minus x to the power minus 3 minus of 3 and then uh, here uh, if i if i search here uh, so then i can search for here coefficient of x to the power 7 coefficient of x to the power 7 in in x square 1 minus x to the power minus 3 fine so now if you understand this now you can apply the formula uh, the 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 formula uh, which i told you in the beginning that the coefficient of the coefficient of x to the power r coefficient of x to the power r in 1 minus x to the power minus n is n plus r minus 1 cr this is a formula what i told you in the beginning now you can apply that same formula here so if you apply the same formula here if you apply the same formula here then uh, in that contest uh, your r would be 7 your r would be 7 and your n would be 3 okay. so so what so what is the coefficient so the coefficient of so you need to understand so the coefficient so the coefficient of of x to the power 7 x to the power 7 in 1 minus x to the power minus 3 is basically that is 7 plus 3 minus 1 c7 okay minus 3 now if you understand here uh, here uh, you are looking for coefficient of x to the power 7 here is already x to the power 6 means you now have to search only x so you can write this this is nothing but this is coefficient of of x in In one minus x to the power minus three. Okay, so in here your r value. So this is if you understand here your r value, your r your r value is one and n value is basically three. Okay. So now, now uh, going further, so you can say finally your answer is finally your answer is coefficient of x to the power 7 in 1 minus x to the power minus 3 is basically 9c7 9c7 minus 3 into minus 3 into minus 3 into this is we the coefficient of coefficient of of x to the power uh, x to the power x in 1 minus x to the power minus 3 is basically uh, 1 plus 3 minus 1 c1 so the, by then uh, you can say uh, this is nothing but 9c2 so the so ultimately your answer would be 9c7 Minus three of three c one nine three seven is nine c two minus three of e c one is three nine c two is thirty six thirty six minus nine you get the answer called twenty seven. So uh, this is the this is the application of a multinomial theorem uh, to solve the problem on dices and if you apply a multinomial theorem 
uh, you can get an answer uh, like this. So this is just an understanding. So if you develop this understanding, multinomial theorem will definitely will be applicable for, for many such problem, uh, which which normally uh, the the usual uh, formulas will not able to give you. So whenever you have confusion on that part, you can definitely apply multinomial theorem uh, to solve the question on, on permutation combination. So for that, you uh, develop a basic understanding of binomial theorem. I think that 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 will serve the objective. So similarly, uh, yeah, similarly, if I talk about a four dice problem, similarly, if I talk about a four dice problem, so you can solve a four dice problem uh, considering one dice and three dice. So whenever you get the a four dice problem, so break the four dice problem as one dice, one dice plus three dice, one dice plus three dice, and that way it can help you to get the answer. So manually, uh, manually I can determine that part also. So that uh, I need to sit and I need to work on. So the minimum sum, like when you talk about the sum on four dice, when if I talk about the sum on four dice, so that that would be from uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that would be from uh, four to twenty-four. That will be from four to twenty-four. The sum on four dice uh, that will be from four to twenty-four. Uh, so you can manually do that. Uh, I can three dice already. I told you so three dice already. I told you so four, five, six. You can if you sit and if you keep writing the values, you can easily get that value uh, very easily. Uh, so uh, let's uh, let solve one problem for for a better understanding. So 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 in how many ways? Uh, in how many ways can I get can I get a sum of 15 suppose sum of, of 15 when when three when four dice are rolled together so when four dice are rolled together so rolled together so you can do this so I can what I can do I can break this problem as one dice plus three dice you can break this problem as one dice and three dice so here I can, if i take a value one uh, so i want some 15 so on three dice i want the sum to be 14 so the number of ways so the number of ways this is possible so on three dice the sum 14 so the number of ways and this is possible so for the 14, the number of ways you can, you can just only 15 ways. Okay. So you can see that, uh, you can see this, you can see this uh, shortcut table, what I've drawn. So for this 14, you can see the number of ways to get the sum 14 would be 15 ways. So you can remember that way. If you remember, then your work will be done. Okay. So then in one dice, if you get two, then it should be 13. Number of ways of 13 is 21. Then on one dice, if you get three, then it should be 12. Then, then the number of ways is 25. Then on one dice, if you get four, then it should be 11. Then number of ways is 27. Then five, you get almost 10. Number of ways for that is 27. And then for six, here if you get six, then this should be nine. Uh, 9 for 9, uh, this should be 25. Number of ways, so that would be 25. For the 9, that would be 25. Now you do the sum. So on 4 dice, in uh, in how many ways can you get the sum 15? So just you need to do this uh, this calculation. So 5 plus 5, 10, uh, 15, uh, 15 plus 14, 15 plus uh, 15, uh, means 15 plus 15, 30, 3 carry, 3. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 140. So number of ways you will get is 140. If I ask in probability, the answer would be 140 by 1296. Okay. Now the same thing if I solve manually. So manually if I solve this, uh, 4 dice. So 4 dice. 4 dice. The sum uh, should be 15. And how many ways this is possible? So let's try with one. 
तो डेफिनेटली नॉट गोइंग टू वर्क फॉर मी ओके सो आई वांट द सम 15 सो 112 विल इट वर्क फॉर मी लाइक दिस वुड बी लिटिल बिट डिफिकल्ट टू एनालाइज द केसेस सो 112 सो 4 4 मींस 11 नॉट गोइंग टू वर्क सो 116 One one six means eight seven. So one 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 to definitely not gonna work for me. So because then on two dice I should get some thirteen. That is not possible. So then on two dice I should get the sum. One one means then two dice I should get the sum thirteen. On two dice the maximum sum can be twelve. That is not gonna work for me. One one is not gonna work for me. So let's try one two. If I try uh, one two, if I try one two. Then on two dice I should get the sum twelve. On two dice I should get the sum twelve. So twelve means six comma six comma. This is six comma six. That is only one way is there. So that is the only one way I can get the sum twelve. So this six twelve fourteen fifteen. Uh, so this how many ways this is possible so 4 factorial by 2 factorial that is 24 by 2 means 12 that is uh, 24 by 2 means 12 okay then uh, the next uh, next case mm, then uh, so this is 12 way 1 comma 2 so what can i do uh, so So with one comma two, there's only one way. Okay, so with one comma two, there's only one way to well to get the sum. That is six comma six. I cannot think about any other thing. So one comma two, five comma six, all that I can't do. So I'm stuck. If I'm taking one comma two, then I can't do anything else. So there's no other way I can do. So so let's try one comma three. So if I take one comma three, so means then I should get remaining sum as eleven. So eleven are uh, two ways are there for eleven. That is five comma six and six comma five. This is four factorial. That is twenty four way. Okay. So one comma one uh, comma three comma five comma six. So uh, you uh, you got this. Uh, then uh, so with one comma three, uh, with one comma three, so eleven. Eleven uh, can be five comma six or six comma five. So there's no other way I can think on this part. Eleven, eleven. When you talk about eleven, so there's no other way I can think about. Okay. So then if I talk about one comma four, so if I'm talking one comma four, then if I'm talking one comma four, then uh, so the sum should be ten. So sum should be ten means one five comma five. This is again twelve ways. So then I can think about one comma four, then four comma six. So so this is the these all the possible way. So so this this is again twelve. Okay. Then ah uh, then with one comma I think sum ten. These are three ways are there to get the sum ten. Then if I think about one comma five. I think about one comma five. Then one comma five means you should get the sum nine. So for sum nine, uh, sum nine, for sum nine, uh, you get three comma six. Three comma six. So this is twenty four way. Or three comma six. Three comma six. Then uh, you can do. Uh, E comma six not no one five three six already it came already you have used here you can see one five three six already you have used here already you have used there then uh, then one comma five comma uh, then nine na so nine what is other way three comma six six comma three then four comma five one five five four 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 comma five so then that is also you used. Uh, So one five five four, so that is also you have used. Okay, so, uh, so then I, I really doubt. Uh, then what you can think about? 
the other cases what you can think about the other cases so one comma then uh, so four comma four nine you want the four comma five already so one four four five already you have done that one five five four so that way it's not gonna work so three comma six uh three comma six four comma five and then uh so this will be three comma six four comma five four cases so i think this then uh, one comma six if i take one uh comma six so already i have used one comma six so that you can see already i have used so with one comma six you will get the sum eight so one comma six you'll get the sum eight and eight Eight, uh, eight already we have tried. Uh, that is one, two, six, six. Then eight, uh, I have tried four, four. Uh, so these are two. Then, uh, then eight already I have done that. So this is done with a one. This I am done with one. So now I can think about two. So with two, what I can think about with two? With two, I can think what I can think about two. Uh, with two. So with two, uh, so with two, uh, what can I think with two? So imagine randomly. This is be the easy way. So six 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 three. So this is how many way? Four factorial by three factorial means four way. Oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. So this is what I wrote. <laughs> 15 i want to 6 so 15 uh, 15 is not going to work like that way so 4 comma 4 comma 4 so 12 and then 3 so then 4 comma 4 comma 4 then 3 so 12 then 3 this i have not used this is 4 way okay then uh, 4 factorial by 4 so uh, here what else i can do so mm, so with one i'm done with two two one already i've tried then two 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 means four uh, so two, 15 minus four 11. so two two so let's talk about uh two two so let's talk about two comma two so when i talk about two comma two uh, if i talk about uh two comma two so I get four. So means four means eleven. Eleven I should get the sum. So eleven means five comma six. So this is twelve way. Then uh, then five comma six, uh, six comma five. So that done with that. So this is four, ten, fifteen. Okay. Then uh, two three, uh, two three have I used till now? Two three, two two I have done with two two. Now two three I have not used. So 2, 3, if I talk about 2, 3, so 5, 10, 10 means, 10 means 5, 5, so 10 means 5, 5, I can take, 2, 3, 5, 5, I can take, so 2, 3, 5, 5, if I take, so 10, 15, so this is what, uh, this is again 12, this is again 12, so this I can do, hmm. this I can do. Okay, so this I can do two three five five. So two three five five. Then uh, with two three uh, ten ten four six two three four six. So with uh, two three four comma six. This would be uh, twenty four ways. Okay, two three four comma six. So this is ten fifteen. So two three uh, four comma six. So 15 ways this is possible. Okay, so uh, so uh, so two three four comma six. So you the ten ten uh, when I talk about ten, so ten is okay. This done with ten. So I'll talk about two four. So if I talk about two four, I have a used two four. So two four I have not used two four. Okay, I have used just now. I used two four. So two four I cannot use. Then two five two five already I used. Two six already I used. So then I talk about three. So E F G H H I. Then 
then if I talk about three, so three one already done, three two already done, three three, three three six six means nine. Nine you want the sum. So nine means three three four five. Three three four five. So three three four five. Just check three three four five. Three three uh, four five. We are not used. So then uh, then uh, three three five five. Three three five five. Nine you want no? so not three three. Nine means what? Uh, four comma five. Uh, five comma four, then six comma three, three 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 six, three three six, three 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 six. So you can E M G H I J, then three 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 six. You can use this. So three 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 six. This would be four ways. Three 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 six would be four ways. Okay, so uh. So with three, uh, you done with four five. Uh, you did four five. Uh, then uh, three six. Then uh, with some nine, some nine four ways are there. These are the four ways I'm done. Then uh, three four I'm done. Uh, three five I've done. Three six I'm done. So with four, uh, four four already I tried four four. Uh, then uh, four five, uh, four five already I tried four six. Four six already I tried. Then with five, with five, uh, with five, oh, with five five one already I tried. Uh, five two already I tried. Five three already I tried. Uh, five three already five four already tried. Five five ten ten five five one minute. Five five ten then five. Five means one comma four. Five five one comma four. That I did. Then five five uh, uh, one comma four. Then two comma three also I tried. Then with six six also I think I tried. So let me do the sum. So this is uh, the four the five the six the seven the nine the ten the one twenty one twenty. One twenty plus eight, one twenty-eight. Okay, so it is one twenty-eight. I should get the answer called one forty. So this is one twenty-eight. No? So, so this is well one sir. Well, this is you can do this sum. So, so you can do this sum to get the value. So you can do uh, so so six uh, eight ten fourteen. Sixteen, eighteen, uh, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, twenty-eight to carry two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, one twenty-eight. Still, I'm looking for what value? Twelve value, one twenty-eight. So one, one I'm missing with one. So where the two value should repeat? So one value I'm missing with one. So six, 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 or uh, twelve. Six 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 twelve. So I J K. So six 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 eighteen. I'll get no six six. I want fifteen. So six six uh twelve three. I want one comma three. Okay, six six uh twelve na three. I want so three means one comma two or two comma one. That part I've done. That part I have done. So with six six, that part I have done. So three means what? Uh, some uh, two v three. Only one way. Some two v three. But the non two dice. Two ways is there. So one comma two or uh, two comma one. So that there is no other way for that. So with six comma six, there is no point. Uh, So with six you tried one, with six you tried two, with six uh, you tried three, then with six uh, you tried four, with six you tried four, with six you tried five. Okay, so one minute just confirm this. So this is uh, four factorial by two factorial twenty four by two twelve, and this is twenty four. Then this is twelve. Then this is twelve. 
then this is 4 factorial by 3 factorial that is 4 this is 12 this is 12 then uh, this is 24 uh, this is 12 then this is 4 okay. so one case I'm missing here so we can think about one case with 1 1 1 1 1 to not possible 1 1 means uh, you get the sub 13 on 2 that is that not possible only 1 2 I did with 1 2 with 1 2 this is the problem what we face here with 1 2 uh, so if I think about the case with 1 2 so 1 2 so with 1 2 12 with 1 2 12 uh, you got the 12 so 1 2 uh, you got the 12 then 1 3 with 1 3 uh, you got this then uh, then with 1 4 with 1 4 the total number of cases is 3 that also you got then 1 5 1 5 already you are done 1 5 if you try 1 5 then you get the sum 6 6 means uh, 6 means what uh, 13 minus 6 9 9 with 1 5 1 minute I'm just trying so with 1 5 I should get the sum as 9 so 9 9 4 ways are there for 9 so 1 5 4 ways are there for 9 so 1 5 4 ways are there for 9 so 4 9 4 ways are there for 9 so if I'm talking about 1 5 here you can see 1 you can see 1 5 this you got 9 so 1 5 you got 9 here and there 4 ways are there both you used so that is not possible so this is not possible 1 5 not possible now 1 6 with 1 comma 6 1 comma 6 7 15 minus 7 8 so with 8 5 cases are possible with 1 comma 6 5 cases 1 7 7 means 8 8 means uh, 5 cases are possible so 5 cases are possible so 1 comma 6 5 cases are possible 1 comma 6 5 cases are possible 1 comma uh, 6 5 cases are possible so you got these two case uh, 2 2 4 then 5 okay so 1 comma 6 is also not possible so 1 comma 6 is also not possible so 1 comma 6 also not possible so then okay one minute let me do this sum again so uh, you want the sum 15 no? so 14 uh, 14 means 15 way then 13 means 21 way and then uh, 12 means 25 way and then uh, 12 means uh, this is 14 14 uh, 14 means 15 way and then 13 means uh, 13 means uh, 21 way and then uh, 12 means 12 means 25 way and then 11 means 27 way and then uh, 10 means 27 way okay and then uh, 9 means 25 way 9 means 25 way is okay, correct so this sum is 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 5 uh, 6 plus 5 11 uh, 11 plus 7 18 18 plus 7 18 uh, 25 30 3 carry 3 4 6 8 10 12 14 this is correct only so here uh, what else cases is there one i am done with one which two two one not possible two two uh, two two uh, already i tried two two means four uh, four means uh, 15 minus four 11 11 means uh, 11 11 means uh, two cases are there so all the that i've done then i did with 2 3 2 3 means 10 uh, 10 means three cases are there 
so that I've done. Then two four, then uh, two four, then uh, then here two four i j k two comma four six so nine. Uh, so so two comma four. So you got nine. So nine uh, with nine four cases are possible. So two four nine uh, that two four. Nine nine means three comma six and and nine and then four comma five. Is this anywhere repeated? So two four four five. This is uh six six plus four ten fifteen. Let's just check two 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 four four five. Two four four five anywhere anywhere repeated. Let me confirm. Uh two four four five. Two four four five. Two four four five, not here, not here, not here, not here, not here, not here. Two four four, not here, not here, not here. Now two four four five. So twelve cases are there. So the total this would be one forty cases. So like this, uh, you have to think uh, to get the answer. So now the same. Now the now the same logic uh, you can use uh, here here also for by using you can solve the same problem by using a multinomial theorem multinomial theorem not monial it's monial theorem so sum on four dice sum on four dice uh, it should be fifteen so what you need to do you have to search for the coefficient of you have to search for the coefficient of X to the power fifteen in you the value should go from one to six in dice the value should be from one to six okay and then uh, the four values are there four dice so this should be power four this should be power four to search the coefficient of x to the power fifteen in if you write in GP. This would be x one minus x to the power six by one minus x. This would be uh, this would be to the power four. This you can write a into one minus r to the power n divided by one minus r. So you can write this as coefficient of x to the power coefficient of x to the power fifteen in X to the power four, one minus x to the power six to the power four, one minus x to the power minus four. Okay, so already you got x to the power four. Now you need to search for coefficient of x to the power eleven in one minus x to the power six to the power four in one minus x to the power minus four. Then I split a. Uh, Uh, this one minus x to the power four. So uh, I believe uh, we know the formula. This we know what is we know what is a plus b to the power four. So that is a to the power four plus four a cube b plus six a square b square plus four a b cube plus b to the power four. So it means I need to search for the Coefficient of x to the power eleven in this is a to the power four minus four a cube a cube b a cube b a cube b minus four a cube b okay, b is odd here so then uh, plus minus then plus six uh, uh, a square a square b square B square means twelve. Then, uh, then uh, minus four uh, a b cube. Uh, b cube means six to the power eighteen. Okay. Then plus plus uh, b to the power four means x to the power twenty four uh, into one minus x to the power minus four. So this you need to search. So now here I am looking for 
coefficient of x to the power 11. So what all are significant for me, this is significant, this is significant, then remaining all are greater than 11. So, so they are not all, not at all significant to me. So I need to search coefficient of x to the power 11 in, and write this, this because why to waste my time writing all together because anyway they'll give me coefficient bigger than 11 so anyway that is not possible only that they can give me the coefficient of x to the power 11 this minus 1 minus x to the power minus 4 so why should i waste my time writing all the all the possible coefficients of x because any coefficient or any power of x which is more than 11 is not at all significant for me so I can write this as coefficient of x to the power 11 in this is 1 minus x to the power minus 4 minus 4. Uh, this you can understand x to the power 6. So no need of writing this again. So 6 means 5 I need to search. I need to search now coefficient of x to the power 5 in 1 minus x to the power minus 4. Okay, so now uh, you can understand here. So here the n1, n1, n1 is 4 and r1 is 11. Here you need to understand that your n2 is 4 and r is 5. So, so so, so you, what you need to search, you know the formula, again the same formula, that coefficient of x to the power r in 1 minus x to the power minus 1. So the coefficient of, coefficient of x to the power r in the expansion of 1 minus x to the power minus n is n plus r minus 1 cr. So, so this that way if I use this, uh, so uh, so the here, uh, so here the formula if you apply, so if you apply the formula, so then it will become n plus r minus one c r. That is a formula. So, so you need to understand this. So the coefficient of x to the power eleven uh, in one minus x to the power minus 4 is 4 plus 11 minus 1 c 11 pr so this is uh, 14 c 11 uh, 14 c 11 means uh, 14 c 14 c 3 now 11 minus 4 3 now so 14 c 3 so what is 14 c 3 14 c 3 is how much what is 14 c3 that is 14 into 13 into 12 divided by 6 this is 2 so 13 into 14 is how much 169 plus 169 uh, plus 13 i think it's 182 182 into 2 182 means uh, 364 i guess the answer is 364 you can check with that Check with calculator or whatever. So 13 into 14, 13 fours are 52, 13 ones are 13. So this is 182. 182 to two, 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 two is 4, 16, 364. Okay. So this is 364. So this is coefficient of this and this coefficient would be what? This value is what? This value would be this value would be n plus r means 5 plus 4 minus 1 c r r means r means what 5 so this is 9 8 c 5 8 c 5 means 8 c 5 is how much 8 c 5 means 8 c 3 8 c 3 means 56 i guess 8 into 7 into 6 that is 56 okay? so you need to understand this is 364 this is 56 so if i delete this so this is 364 and this is 56 so this is the so the coefficient of, of x to the power 11 
वन माइनस एक्स टू द पावर माइनस फोर इज हाउ मच यू गॉट आई फोर गॉट थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव और समथिंग नो दैट वॉज थ्री सिक्सटी फोर वन एटी टू टू जार वन एटी टू टू जार थ्री सिक्सटी फोर एंड इट इज माइनस फोर टाइम्स ऑफ तो द कोफिशियंट ऑफ x to the power of five in one minus x to the power minus four is how much? Eighty six eight c three. That is fifty six. Your final answer would be uh, three sixty four minus four times of fifty six. So this is three sixty four minus uh, four six are twenty four two carry two twenty four. So this is what. This is zero. This is four, and this is one. The answer is one forty. So the same answer what I got before also. So this this is what this is what you can do the same problem for multinomial theorem, or you can spend time thinking about the, all the possible cases, or uh, you can solve this problem. The most easiest way to solve four dice problem would be consider one dice and three dice, and you will get the answer very easy. so this session one session dedicatedly i wanted to discuss about the problem on dices so i hope uh, you have enjoyed uh, uh, learning uh, the concept on problem on dices i really believe that it will definitely will help you uh, to solve uh, permutation combination question in much more better way so along with this i have developed a video on dictionary problem also So imagine if I ask you if you if you are if you make a dictionary uh, with the letters of the word called Missy P P. So what would be the ranking of the word Missy P P in the dictionary? So the answer is around thirteen thousand seven thirty seven. So that these all you can spend time. Uh, I uh, you can get that video in the playlist. Please go and watch that video. Definitely, uh, it will help you to solve the problem on on ranking ranking of words in the dictionary. and that i did with repetition and without repetition so so shortcut way also i explain the same thing and logical way mathematically also i explain the same thing i hope that you really love that session so uh, with that intention i like to wind up this class so so thank you everyone take care everyone bye take care